Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for January 31st through February 6th. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you for the week ahead. This is for Scorpio. Okay, <laughs> oh my god. Feeling a little jittery and nervous? I don't know. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy Scorpio placements, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned, and you definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around any time. Well, I guess you get two there. You feel the need to. So please feel free to do that. Cross watchers, you are welcome. So you actually may have a reading or messages in here for you. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Scorpio, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there. So you can check that out if you would like to. All your February readings are out and I just did a new moon in Aquarius. You can check that out as well. If you're new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. I do a weekly reading, which is like this one short sneak peek for the week ahead. I do longer readings. I do two monthlies, new moon and full moon. So you can keep an eye out for that. I'll be doing a full moon in Leo. Not sure the date on that uh, next for next month. Coming up after I do these, um, actually I'll be doing the end of February after the, these weeklies, another weekly, and then I'll be doing the full moon in Leo, another weekly, and then we'll be going into all the March readings. All right. Scorpio, what do we have for you? We have explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. All right, so needing to make some sort of changes in some way. Wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best in one step at a time. Lots of little steps make big dreams come true. We have the rainbow here. Lock expansion. Hmm, all right. And we have self-reliance. It could be um, Scorpio, maybe, I mean, it could be you or, or someone around you is a little too codependent maybe on other people, but it's time here to be uh, more reliant on yourself, more self-sufficient and dependent as well. So maybe for, it may not be um, permanently, maybe temporarily, so that you can explore other options, whatever that means for you, set new goals for yourself, and then take one step at a time. So let's see what this means for you for the week ahead for Scorpio. Oh my goodness. All right. So we have a lot of cards coming out here. So we have Ace of Wands. So it could be about some new adventure, um, inspirational project um you know the ace of wands can be many different things it could be entrepreneurship it could be creative new ideas it could be endeavors passion projects goals ambitions something new and exciting it could be you know work career it could be relationship wise as well justice hmm, i think there's something better out there and you kind of know that so whatever that means for you, so it's telling you, take some self time for yourself to explore other options, learn everything you need to know, but do it one step at a time. Don't rush because there, it's like you're wishing for more and you kind of know there's something better out there. So whatever that means for you, it could be a new job. It could be relationship wise as well. Three of cups. So this could be dating, getting to know, socializing, networking, judgment. So there you are, Scorpio. Judgment call. So you know it's time to do life review, relationship review. Because what's coming in is the sun. Happier days, happier times. Wow. All right. Let's get a few more here. Eight of Pentacles putting in that work. It's a work in progress, whatever that is. Could be about work. And we have the Page of Swords. So this is learning. Again, learning, research, exploring those options, but doing a lot of detailed uh, research about this as well. Putting in the work to do that research so that you can have the happiest outcome, getting what you deserve here with justice. Wow. All right, so let's see, bottom of the deck for extra energy. Let's see. 
King of Swords gaining that mental clarity. And then, and again, this could be maybe a mentor, um, somebody of legal or expertise in some way, shape, or form that can help you maybe make better decisions if it has to do around legalities in any way as well. So if you need that expert advice, guidance in some way, shape, or form, don't be afraid to get that. And it could be, you know, whatever your options are here, um, maybe getting a lawyer or getting someone who can give you extra clarity on each option so you can make a better informed decision as well. And we have the Ten of Cups, which is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way in the full. So there's your leap of faith. Restart, taking, it's like waiting, wiping the slate clean, having a restart, and jumping in and in, into a new beginning here. That leads to the Ten of Cups, but needing all that clarity by doing that research. And you, again, may need... Um, expertise of somebody else as well whatever that means for you but ten of cups is total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way six of cups so it could be um you know maybe some of you are wanting to return back to a childhood dream maybe move back home um visit back home could be past life energy could be someone from the past returning maybe someone from your childhood high school college or if you know if you did go to college queen of swords so we have the king queen of swords two people that think alike speak alike very clear blunt direct to the point and they're kind of you know seeing eye to eye here so it could be someone from okay this is the kind of message i'm getting for some someone from the past may return and it could be a, just a friend it could be a lover it could be anybody but now maybe in the past where you didn't see eye to eye before now you do eight of swords so feeling kind of stuck or trapped and maybe you could be worried um it's just going to be the same energy as before but now we have the ace of swords you know and the ace and the eight would give you the nine a little stress worried anxiety stuck in your mind and maybe about how they weren't in the past but they could have been very immature and young back then as well they could have been married or somebody could have been married. doesn't have to be, but justice is about, could be legalities, documents, forms, contracts. But that's about getting what we deserve. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, universal law and order. Ace of Swords here. I mean, divine clarity from source, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, successful new beginning, truth, clarity, communication, cutting away things that are no longer serving. Knight of Pentacles. It's a work in progress. So, don't rush take your time this is making very informative decisions as you're moving forward being very wise practical smart savvy stable and grounded not overlooking anything not rushing leads you into a much better place here six of swords peace harmony balance moving into much much better energy yeah magician manifesting a new beginning gemini virgo Six of Pentacles I just saw. So you're feeling kind of in limbo right now, Pisces energy. But I feel like here, it, it, you just need a time out. A time out to, I don't know, network. Three of Cups can be, can be dating, getting to know, socializing community, maybe networking. Um, many different options and resources. Making a judgment call, judgment and justice. So definitely, definitely getting what you deserve regarding some sort of new adventure that will lead to your ultimate fulfillment here with the sun. Peace, happiness, joy, fulfillment, growth, expansion, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family, love, children, peace, harmony. I mean, it's everything positive with the sun. But it's going to take work to get there. And getting all the clarity that you need with this page of swords. And I feel like you're going to have someone returning here where maybe, you know, You didn't see eye to eye before, but I think now coming back, um, you may be reviewing the past here with judgment, you know, life review, relationship review. So you may be reviewing that relationship like, hmm, I don't know, but it can be healing, forgiving, letting that past energy go, moving on to the new, could be a past life uh, connection as well. It doesn't have to be. For here, I do see uh, Gemini, Aquarius, we're talking about the Aquarius season right now, uh, Scorpio, Libra. Leo, Aquarius again. So definitely a lot with this Aquarius energy. So I feel like, you know, wish hope for the best. Keep going for it. Take the time, you know, explore every option. I think you just need some time for yourself right now to 
do this on your own. Maybe you've been relying on other people right now to make decisions for you or guiding you. Maybe it's not really working and it's like, okay, I need to step back, reevaluate, uh, restructure, you know, look at all the options I have here and then make slow, steady progress forward in a new direction. Very informed doing that research as well. Could be about work because we do have the Eight of Pentacles too. Could be someone that you worked with at one time, maybe like one of your first jobs. Um, but it does have a chance here to come back around and I feel it'd be like exciting new beginning here. So I feel like you may not have, like I said, seen eye to eye before, but now because we have that King, Queen of Swords looking at each other, now you do see eye to eye. Whatever that means for you. All right. Let's get you in. Three of Cups can be about reuniting, dating, getting to know, celebrating. I don't always see that as, oh, it's third party. You know, maybe there was that energy in the past. You know, maybe there was just, maybe you young, just with dating other people, nothing too serious, but there definitely was a connection there. All right. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory, where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't fear, don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So, you know, maybe doing this more based on your intuition. But I also feel like something about doing the research too, but also letting your intuition guide you. We didn't get, I mean, the high priestess or anything like that. But, I mean, we do have the sun, which is very illuminating and enlightening. Choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You will be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply, po apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Wow. So, yeah, and we have that. Options, choices, right. There you go. So let's get one more. Hope. And see, maybe you still had a hope um, connection or a fire within for someone from the past, still hoping maybe someday it would work out, you know, in the future. Maybe you kind of knew you were young back then and needed to let go, go live your own lives, grow, expand. Um, and maybe someday it will come back around when you both matured. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Wow. There you go. Purple. Manifestation. Spirituality. You know, going from this darker energy of the past into a more blue, you know, communication. We did see the queen, king, queen of swords seeing eye to eye now so clear-cut communication that's the third chakra and purple manifestation spirituality faith hope take a moment stop now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make before this important decision is made take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward exactly self-reliant take a moment we just spoke about that but the transformations are at hand scorpio whatever that means for you wow Okay, Scorpio, so this is what I have for you. Hoped it helped and it resonated. Thank you so much for being here. Again, don't forget to check out your February readings. Keep a lookout for more weeklies to come every week. Uh, I'll be doing the end of February, and then I'll be doing the new moon and uh, full moon. I keep saying that, full moon in Leo. I'm not sure the date on that. So keep an eye out for that. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.